You know those couples who get married and they say, oh, we're not going to have kids now. We're not going to have kids for, oh, a few years, five, six years and shit like that, right? They, they say that, right? And, and I want to ask them right back, you know what I mean? Like, well, then why the fuck do you get married? Uh, what, what, the, what, what the fuck are you doing? As I've said before, there are three reasons to have a relationship with a woman. Mm -hmm. To get sex domestic comfort and companionship, or to have children. Those are the three reasons to have a relationship with a woman, right? Now, of course, presumably, if you get married to a woman, uh, what are you supposed to get? Sex? No. Domestic comfort and companionship? No. It's the kids. The kids are the issue. That's the reason you get married, right? You don't get married just for fucking fun. You, you, you just don't get married just because, oh, you know, we're together so long and stuff like that, so let's just get married. But, oh, we don't want children for now. What the fucking point is that? Okay? No, 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 no. Because, you see, the, the, the problem with getting married without children is that those marriages always, always fail. No exception. The reason is simplicity itself. Let me give you a specific example, or, well, it's a hypothetical example, but it'll prove my point. Suppose there's John and Mary. John is 25 and Mary's um, 23, okay? They get married. Kind of young, but fine. They get married. They get married and they decide consciously, for whatever reason, that they're not going to have children until uh, Mary is 30. Seven more years. They're going to get married and, and live as husband and wife for seven years before they have children. Oh, what the fuck you think is going to happen in those seven years? If they are 23 and 25, hmm? seven years is roughly a third to a quarter of their lives, right? Do you think or do you expect them to change in those seven years? Fucking A, they're going to change. They're going to change a lot. Uh, uh, a man and a woman in their mid-twenties, you know, th that, that go together for seven years, it is unlikely that they will grow together intertwined like, you know, ficus trees or some shit like that. No, no, no. What's going to happen is that they are going to go into divergent directions. It's inevitable. They're going to grow in divergent directions because, you see, they're not going to have a common goal. Uh, the man is going to have certain goals insofar as his profession, his career, what have you. The woman is going to have the same. And those career goals, which are going to be the focus of their lives because they don't have any children, right? Well. Because of it, they are going to go in different directions. It's possible that one or the other might be hired to go someplace else in some other country or some, something like that. And what's, what's going to happen to the marriage? What's going to happen to the other partner? They're going to have their, their objectives, their goals, what have you, insofar as their career. And so, of course, they're going to wind up uh, breaking up. I mean, they'll try the long distance thing for a while, but eventually, you know, it'll fall apart. I mean, they'll be away from one, each other, uh, from one another, rather. And as they're away from one another, all of a sudden, maybe he meets somebody, maybe she meets somebody, and all of a sudden, the marriage is kaput because they don't have any common goal. But see, in a marriage that has children, well, the children are the common goal. That, that, that's the point. See, the children are the common goal, and the children are always going to be the most important thing for both of the parents. Uh, let me explain something to you. See, when you have children, they will automatically become the most important thing in your life. Whether you like it or not, there are many men and women who hate the fact that their children are automatically and instinctively the most important thing in their lives. They hate this truism, okay? You read Betty Friedan's um, uh, the, uh, the Feminine Mystique, right? And it, it, she hated the fact that her children were the most important thing in her life. And she was the, the, the godmother of second wave feminism. That should be a fucking clue. But anyway, I, I, I digress. In my own case, I love the fact that my children are the most important thing in my life, bar none. There is nothing more important. The, my two little monsters are it, as far as my life is concerned, right? But a lot of people don't like this, but it is a truth your children automatically and instinctively become the central focus of your life. And what do I mean by that? I mean that everything that you do insofar as your career, making money and your success and what have you, you do it all to better the lives of your children. 
once you have children, once you've taken care of them for a bit, you know, and grown attached to them, as you should, once you've bonded with them, which is a natural and, and incremental process, but it happens inevitably. Well, what will happen is that every decision you make, you'll be thinking, is this going to be good for the kids? Will, will this advance their, their kids somehow? You'll think about it, it'll always be in the back of your mind. And everything that you do, all of the decisions you make, you, you will take a second seat, a second place in your own priorities. And that's a fact. That's a natural fact of life. Now, why is this so important in a marriage? It's simple, because if you and your wife have children in common, uh, automatically you will know that everything that she does is for the benefit of your kids. <laughs> yeah, because you share the kids, right? The kids will become the common goal. And everything that you do, either individually or together, will be for the benefit and the betterment of the children. Hmm? You will have this common goal, this common mountaintop. You see? And that's why marriages with a lot of children tend to be very successful. It's not that it's a successful marriage and therefore they have a lot of kids. No, 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 no. It's they had a lot of kids and therefore their brain space got filled up with all these kids. And these kids, the benefit, the, 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 uh, the betterment of the kids is the common goal of the man and the woman. You see what I mean? That's what's going on. A childless marriage, well, you know, they don't have that common goal. They don't have the kids in common. Now, by the way, a, a little quick parenthesis. I'm not talking about child, uh, marriages, rather, that are trying to have children, but are having a hard time of it. No, no, the, uh, those marriages, those marriages, interestingly enough, I have noticed at least, they tend to be more successful, yeah. The, the common struggle of uh, not having children and having to do medical procedures and all the rest of it in order to have children, that often as not creates a tighter bond. Yeah, I mean, fingers crossed that eventually children arrive, okay? The struggle to have these children and eventually their arrival after a lot of medical procedures and, and a lot of sleepless nights and a lot of tears, right? That brings a marriage closer together, makes it a lot tighter, a lot stronger. Um, but the tragedy is many times, many times, uh, a couple that cannot have children, sometimes they can remain together and they stay tight, but sometimes the marriage falls apart because the, the stress and strain of childlessness, I mean, uh, of, 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 of them wanting to have children and not able to have children, that stress and strain can be so bad that the marriage falls apart. And that, that's a true tragedy. But I don't want to dwell on those tragic cases. I mean, they are truly tragic, okay? What I want to dwell on is childlessness by choice. Those couples are gonna go down the tubes. Inevitably, absolutely, and because, remember what I said, there are three things that you want in a relationship, right? You want sex, domestic comfort and companionship, and children, right? Now, that is the, the pro progressive hierarchy, by the way. You can get sex anywhere. Domestic comfort and companionship, well, that's a smaller universe. And a woman with whom you could have children, that's a smaller universe still. And it's much harder and much more important, the third thing, uh, children, right? So. If you decide that you're going to be married, then you have to be thinking to yourself, I'm going to get married to have children. That's the only reason to get married, okay? And remember, the whole point of getting married, okay, it's, it's a legal contract so that, you know, both sides will make sure that number one, the children are the man's, and number two, the man will always provide for the children. That's the whole point of it, okay? Uh, um, but insofar as, you know, just getting married for the sake of getting married. No, that's crazy. That's stupid. You don't want to do that. You want to get married only if there is a guarantee that you're going to have children. Only if, 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 you know, frankly, it would be best to only get married after the woman is pregnant. Quite frankly. Yeah. I, there's no real reason to get married if there are no children or if she's not pregnant. And the fact of the matter is, you know, in today's day and age, there's no reason to get married full stop, period. I mean, think about it. If there are no children, why exactly would you get married? You know, 
nobody out in society is telling you that, oh, it's wrong to live in sin or some shit like that, right? We're way past that nowadays. You know, why get married? For the party? Because you want to have a big wedding and spend a shit ton of money on a fucking party? Is that why you want to get married? That's a dumbass fucking reason to get married. No. See? Uh, don't get married just to get married. Don't get married for the sake of a fucking party. Okay? And don't get married if you don't intend to have children. 